Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to actually upgrade the Starlink UI project from NGUI 2.7 to NGUI 3.0. I figured uh, documenting my steps is going to be uh, helpful for those of you who are going to be doing the same thing with your own projects. Now if your project is of decent size then chances are you're probably going to get errors when uh, you import NGUI 3.0. And the main reason for that is because things change. It actually changed quite a bit from 2.7 to 3.0. So without further ado, here's me fixing my own crap, basically. First things first, there is no more checkbox. I need to replace it with UI toggle. Second, there is no change state anymore. So here's how you fix it. Instead of is checked, it's value. Everything has value now. Slider value, uh, toggle value, and so on. Instead of uh, on state change plus equals, you use the event delegate add function. Reason for that is on change is a list now. It's not a delegate anymore. Instead of minus equals, use the event delegate remove function. Oh yeah, I should probably mention that if you want this to only execute once, then you can actually specify true for the last parameter, which is one shot, which will essentially cause this event delegate to remove as soon as it's triggered the first time. It's useful for things that you only want to execute once. One last thing, checkbox state use the value as well. There is nothing being passed to the function anymore. Instead, we use the current parameter. It's the same as you would be doing with a UI camera dot current for example, UI slider dot current, UI scroll bar dot current and so on and so forth. Everything has the current. This value is actually set just before calling the callback itself. So you know it's valid. Okay, next error. Same thing. The onSubmit is now a list of delegates. It is not a delegate, which means I cannot simply do an equals. Event delegate, I can do an add or set. In this case, I'm going to do a set. I'm going to pass this as the first parameter and this as a second parameter. Now this is going to be an error because the value of the function is different. Again, there is no more pass parameters. It is now UI input, current, text. Likewise, I could just replace it or I could just do string text equals that and then just, you know, everything will work as expected. Okay, what's next? Line width. There is no line width, just width. All right. Next there, on finished, same thing. And delegate set, and just pass these two values. There is no tween. And so on and so forth. There's going to be a lot of those, so I'm going to skip them for the purpose of shortening this video. Hmm. Surprisingly, that didn't take long. It only took me about five more minutes to fix the remaining issues, and they were all event delegate related. Okay, here's one warning. The Relative size is uh, obsolete and it's not going to work anymore. So before, in order to get the size of the widget, you essentially get uh, the relative size and you scale it by the local scalar transform and that would give you the size. That's not what you should be doing anymore. Now you can just get the local size. And that's it. All this, gone. And this happens to be the last warning. 
Now we're on to fixing the actual layouts. But speaking of layouts, first thing I'm going to do is restore my layout. Uh, there we go. Better already. So let's see what happens when I open the menu scene. Hmm. Oh boy. I was using slice sprites, an actual slice sprite class instead of the sprite. Oh, this is going to take a while. You might notice that as soon as I actually add uh, the proper components, you see how its scale right now it's, uh, uh, well, using the old style of Angui. As soon as I change it to a sprite, it begins working correctly. The scale becomes 111 and the dimensions get set. Okay, background, same thing. Sprite, play button, sprite. Now I could just keep on doing this manually or I can write a script to do this for me. Hmm. I'm going to choose to do the later. Hold on a sec. Okay, so what I basically did is uh, import the old sprites like slice sprite, tile sprite and so on using the same exact uh, metadata files and then I created a script and editor called upgrade widgets. So let's see what happens. Here I have a sliced sprite. I'm gonna go to and uh, upgrade widgets. All right, 108 widgets upgraded. Wow. And if you now select them, you'll notice that they're uh, of UI sprite type, which is correct. Okay, let's hit play. All right, this label is clearly set to shrink content, which is bad. If I don't also resize this. Okay, now it's fine. Windows all kind of work. Hmm. Okay, so this sprite is missing a reference. Let's fix that to the check mark. Okay, now it works. Options. Ooh, yeah, sliders need to be fixed. Oh, yeah, I remember what I missed. I actually need to. Uh, open up every single window, like actually enable them, in order for the changes to take effect. Because the changes do not affect disabled widgets. So every single widget, every single uh, component uh, that's on a prefab also needs to be dragged into the scene and then updated. Okay, let's try this again. Options, yep, it's all correct, automatically up upgraded. Um, play, I got my single player, everything is working right. This doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, no, this is the UI kit, it doesn't have that window. Never mind. Okay, so what else do I have to fix then? Uh, stats, they all work correctly, surprisingly. I thought I didn't enable this yet. Just to be safe, that's the stats. Password LAN, Internet Direct, Channel List. Okay. Excellent. Everything seems to be correct. Okay. Now onto the game scene. Same thing. Make sure that everything is actually enabled. 
and at this time it seems like it is and then uh, make sure to apply like hit apply for every single prefab otherwise the changes are not gonna take same thing here if the UI is used in this case UI is not used so done hit play seems to be and something else missing huh aha uh -huh. this is the status bar yeah right you see the scale of it is 520 by 68 and uh, and that's because I actually need to enable it again if it's not enabled then it's not gonna upgrade okay hit apply let's try this again not quite there I'm guessing the label yeah the label did not get enabled there we go okay hit apply again excellent now it's working fine Whew. yeah okay this needs to be updated and the reason that doesn't work is because it's using the transform local scale and local scale is obviously not used anymore so I'm just gonna set this to one um, let's see I'm sure that's not everything but let's just see testing <laughs> no okay and the reason for that is this function right here it is again using local scale everywhere and using twin scale it begin to twin the scales well there is no twin scale in this case anymore instead it needs to be twin height I want to tween the height of the widget not its scale one last issue is here I just again did a quick search for local scale and found this again I'm using the font size which is not what I should be using the scale I should just be using one okay let's see if this fixes the issue okay I'm still missing the height part of it somewhere oh yes of course font size should be one let's try this again and everything works fine okay excellent and now just to check it from the very beginning uh, go into the menu scene uh, play single player uh, everything's good go in here type everything's working okay done well that's it hopefully this video will help you in your own upgrading uh, endeavors thanks for watching guys